would I lie to you? Yes. <laughs> Only get myself out of trouble. No more, no more, no more, no more. Let's hit the road, Kim. Oh, there's a little bit of a bump. It'll be a puddle. No, it was that crack there. See one of them cracks? Look, there's lovers arch. That is not a love zone. Guys, tell her that is not a love zone. So I showed her one in South Australia last year on the road and she didn't believe me. Talk up, that's going to be an understatement. I know, I'd have to yell. No, you don't have to yell like that so everyone can hear you. We only want the GoPro to hear you, babe. Right. Well, that's the rider. All right, cool. Vespa's over big bike. Come on, right? Oh, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, <laughs> Riders have bigger... Oh, is that what he said? Licker lickers? That's not good. Lickers, lickers. Oh, babe, you can't say that. Over there to the left, there looks like some straight... No, wait a minute, what's your left? Oh, sorry, what? right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> How about I chuck my phone to you? Bring it down. Here, catch. No, just come down here, you no. boy. No, I'm not catching it. Bring it down. One day she'll grow some balls, that girl. Won't you, babe? Yeah, buy a Vespa. Don't you, you go further than that, though? I'm not going any further. So okay. what do you think? Now have a look. Have a look down. That's good. <laughs> she got funny little ways, hasn't she? Well, that's what makes her Kimmy, I guess. Where are you going? Right out there on the rocks, where those people are. I'm not going out there. Why? No, it babe, but people want to see you being no. adventurous. Nope. We just found another Harley, didn't we, baby yep. anchor? Yep. Hey, and she's rusty like yours, isn't it? One for my bike, one for your bike. Yeah, mine's a little anchor. Like I said before, mine's mm. a drift anchor. Kim's is an anchor, a proper anchor. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out a note. something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down Okay, this time we are leaving Bateman's Bay, aren't we, babe? Yeah. We're not lying to you this time. <laughs> yeah, we're not going a kilometre up the road. Nah. Well, let's hope not, anyway. We hope you're going about 460 kilometres up the road today. Okay, guys, say goodbye. This is Bateman's. The main street. Oh. Don't ask what time the shops get up and open, because... We just know they close early nah. and on certain days. If you want to know, yeah, just Google them because I'll tell you, this town closes down early sometimes. And then probably doesn't even open sometimes. Yeah, you do have the pubs and everything, but yeah. Right, okay, so we're currently on the way to Aladulla and we're heading up uh, north to Newcastle, aren't we? Yep. And we have seen mega amounts of motorcyclists coming through, haven't we? They yeah. would, mm, they'd be going to the Grand Prix in Melbourne this weekend. But there's been a, a pretty good stream every few k's, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, we're going north to, uh, where are we going? Newcastle? North to Newcastle? Yep. When we get near Sydney, the rush will be on. There will be. Or on the outskirts of Sydney anyway. Aladala. Aladala, yes, that's right. We're here, aren't we, babe? Well, we're not here. We're here, but that's here, isn't it? Aladala's over there and we're here. <laughs> Does that make sense? Technical. Yeah. But we're going to stop here and probably grab a bite to eat. Because the coffee we had this morning was shit. <laughs> Who made In it? Kimmy? Coffee. Kimmy made it, didn't she? In our coffee pod. In our coffee pod machine. If you watched the previous video, you'd probably see that. Or the previous clip. It wasn't good, was it, babe? It's too strong for the little cup. So of course we'll be stopping at Macca's, won't we? Yeah, we know this place. Yes, we have stopped here quite a few times before 
potholes there. On the way to um, Batemans, oh, on the way from oh, Batemans Bay. And you know what? We're going to get our two same two parking spots as we always have, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. Did they know we were coming? Must have. Okay, so we're going to go in here. We have a bite to eat. Hey guys, so this is the other part of Ulladulla. <laughs> we just off for break it, didn't we, babe? Yep. And met a nice gentleman there going to the Grand Prix, as everyone is. He we're asks going us, the opposite way. Yeah, he asks, oh, where we're going, and we said, Newcastle, oh, you're going the opposite direction. You're not going to the Grand Prix. No, not everyone goes there, do they, babe? Huh? Come here, us adventures. We've got important things to do. We go where Natalie tells us to go. Yeah, that's normally, that's the daughter you see, guys. <laughs> she said, come here. Not a bad sized little town, Ulladulla. Very, very hilly area, though, isn't it, babe? It is. Yeah. Historically, Ulladulla was an important port for the local timber and dairy industry. Today, the harbour is home to a fleet of commercial fish and trawlers, but increasingly, the town has become a coastal holiday resort and popular place for retirement. It is one of those rare places on the New South Wales coast where the main artery, the Prince's Highway, actually passes a harbour which, with its two boat ramps, is nestled between the enclosing headlands. Oh, look at that. That's, that's the ocean out there, babe. I'm not, I'm not saying it. It's probably a lake. No, it's the ocean, babe. That one is the ocean out there. A bit of a bay, a oh. bit of an inlet. If that ain't the ocean, it's a big fucking lake, isn't it? Yep. Would I lie to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get myself out of trouble. Hey, guys, that's virtually Ulladulla, so... We'll just get across the left here and push on through. That well, brekkie was nice because it was for free. Oh, look at that. She, got a, she got a free brekkie, guys. See, McDonald's are sponsoring us. Are they? <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs> Imagine the fucking size of us if Maccas were sponsoring us. Yeah. We'd have to go there all the time. Yeah. Like we don't now. Oh. Yeah, well, that's going to be what they figure. Yeah. No, yeah, we're going to stop going there. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I'm wooing. Yep. Seen his indicator. Yeah. He's one of the lucky ones to put it on. And actual, the actual right indicator, babe, that he was coming yes. around the roundabout, because some of them have not got a clue how to use a fucking indicator on a roundabout. They use the right indicator to get off the roundabout. Now, how do you use the right indicator to leave a roundabout? If you use the right indicator on a roundabout, you're going around and around and around we go. Don't you, babe? Merry go round. Yeah. You've got to use the left one to get off the bastard. Yeah. Some of these people have no idea. Pisses me off when people can't use the proper indicator. That's right. All right, so what's the name of this town, babe? I think it was Milton. Yeah, it is. Milton. Uh -huh. An historic town, Kim said. So we'll just see if Kim's right yeah. or not. She reckons it's uh, named an historic town, so I'll have to Google that, won't I? Because I'm not believing her for sure. There was a time when no one mentioned Milton without twinning it with Ulladulla. The two towns were so close, one on the ridge, one beside the sea, that they had become Milton Ulladulla in the minds of most visitors. Today, Milton has acquired a separate identity. It has attracted artists and alternative lifestyle folk who don't want to live by the sea. Anyway, upwards and beyond we're going, aren't we, babe? Yep, just we're going to hit the road, Jack. Don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Didn't want to sing with me, did she, guys? No. <laughs> Look at the views up here, guys. Look at this. Oh, nice, eh? Not that you can see much through the trees, but I can see heaps. What about you, babe? No. You can't see nothing. Oh, we're too high up. Kim's not looking. <laughs> no, I'm looking. That's all right. It's not high up. Look at that. It's just trees. Yeah, open up into a valley. Look at that. Nice, guys. Nice. Ooh, we are so lucky, aren't we, babe? We to are. be able to do this. So damn fucking lucky. Got to make it happen, guys. You got to make it happen, though, don't you, babe? That's it. Get off your butts and 
get out there and explore. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a long time, waiting a year to do it, but it's worth it for the four weeks. It might not seem like a long time ago, you guys, because you watch videos of us for six months. But for us, it's 12 months since we've had a holiday. Holiday? Holiday? 12 months without getting a day off, basically, except yeah. for your normal... Weekends, yeah. yeah. Or well, your normal days off, I should say, yeah. Well, yeah, guys, you're back on board uh, as we go through now. So, we're coming up to now. We have already been told there is a lot of road work through here, haven't we, Bay, by a biker this morning, a couple of bikers. Yep. Um, and they got held up. It took them a fair while to get through now. But Stop that is, start. yeah, it is nothing unusual though, because we have been through Nara before, all the way down through here, and got held up in roadworks. Seems to be forever they're doing them. Not that I'm complaining about roadworks, because they're a necessity. Progress. There, there is one. Well. There is one thing though today is that it's not real hot at the moment, so that's good. If we do get held up, we're not going to fucking cook on the bikes, are we, babe? It is quite a big place now. Go, 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 go. Okay, so what's this town called, my dear? Berry. And it's a very, very nice place, isn't it? Yeah. We might even get off the bikes here and go for a little walk, maybe, hey? We'll just have see. Yep. Yeah, we'll just have a look. It is a beautiful little uh, town, this one. It's what I remember anyway. What about you? Yeah, I do remember it. In recent times, Berry has become a fashionable weekend and tree change. Escape for Sydney ciders, particularly those living in the southern and eastern suburbs who have found the surrounding green, rolling hills an ideal location for quiet holidays, away from the city bustle. From the humble beginnings of the alternative lifestyle cafe, the Berry Bazaar, which was the heartbeat of the town in the early 1980s, it has grown to become a town where the local economy is driven by gift and craft shops coffee lounges, antique shops, and amusingly, a famous donut shop and a chick sourdough bakery. The local chamber of commerce named it the Town of Trees in 1975 because towards the end of the last century, the local settlers planted extensive stands of English oaks, elms, and beech trees. Where are we going to park? Here and walk back up into town or what? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, if you want. Or do you want to go back up into town? Um, yeah, probably have a look. What, ride up in town or walk up into town? Um, I'll walk. Walk? It's not that far, is it? Well, it's only just up around the corner. Yeah, we'll walk. We need our exercise. If we just leave and park here like this, it should be right. Okay, a bit more, just a bit more. Oh, there's a little bit of a bump. Yeah, could be a puddle. No, it was that crack there. See one of them cracks? Babe? Oh, right. Wasn't yeah. a puddle, it was one of them cracks. Right. Right. Okay, guys, so we're in Berry, which is in New South Wales. We're on the way up to Newcastle still. And we've stopped outside a beautiful little park here. So this is the park here, and the main street is just up around there, and we're gonna go for a walk. Let's go, babe. So he's gone and found a shitter. He needed to go to the toilet. Bikes are down there somewhere. Not that you can see them, but it's a nice little park area, this. Look, there's Lover's Arch. I'll wait for him to come out, and we'll go and have a kiss under Lover's Arch. There he is. There Morning, he is. Babe. I'm all refreshed let's, and I'm ready to go. Let's go up to that lover's arch and have a kiss. This, it's that is arch. not a lover's arch. It Guys, is. tell her that is not a lover's arch. I showed her one in South Australia yeah. last year on the road and she didn't believe me. This is a lover's arch. Right, so, no, it's not. It's so, not. this is the beautiful Barry. Who's he? Alexander Henry. Barry! Alexander Berry. Oh, Alexander Berry. So I gave it the town was named after him. I can't bother reading it. 
Just remember, you have to talk up because the mic's feeding out of the front. Talk up, that's a, gonna be an understatement. I know, isn't it? I have to yell. No, you don't have to yell like that so everyone can hear you. We only want the GoPro to hear you, babe. <laughs> Look at that beautiful old building there. It is a nice place, Barry. I do like it. For some reason, I like it. Yeah. What about you? I do. It's pretty. Yes. The Berry Motel, look at that, 1863. Well, established 1863, but on the top there it's got 1888. Oh, I don't know if I can work that out. <laughs> There's a bit of a, a discrepancy there, isn't there? Might have to ask the local. Maybe the no, it's, facade was a Maybe later. they built on later <coughs> on, do yeah. you reckon? The facade was a later edition. Okay, yeah, it must have been, babe. That's logical. You're brainier than what I first thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a cow of a place, that babe. <laughs> oh, look, she's keeping warm in this body, eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, very warm. All the trees, they grow a funny bark here. <laughs> Don't they, babe? Do you reckon? Yeah. We'll see if we can get Kim run over. That is the main street right there, guys. <laughs> right. All right, cool. <laughs> so, like I said, there's different sorts of bark on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so, so it is a very nice town, isn't it? What do you reckon? Yep. Very nice people. Yeah. Nice, friendly people there yeah. in the bay. So, that was the beautiful little Barry, wasn't it, babe? Yeah, it's a nice little town. It really is nestled in a beautiful place, this Barry. It's only 50 k's from here, babe. We've already been warned about the police in this town, haven't we? <laughs> yes. My mate back there that rides a Vespa. He rides a Vespa and he warned us. Yep. And he reckons Vespa riders have bigger dicks than Harley riders. Oh, yeah, is that what he said? That's what he said. Uh -huh. And I'm like, well, his is bigger than mine. <laughs> you can't say that on our YouTube channel. That's what he said. Oh, OK. You've got no proof. He told the cop that. Oh. Oh, when he got pulled over by the copper. Yeah. Okay. I think the cop thought he was the big dick. Yeah. Sounds like he knew the cop, I think. Yeah. All right, so we're back on the road again. After that, we only walked up town, had a bit of a look. Yep. I got, a, I got Kimmy out without fucking buying anything. Although, she was looking at a $300 leather jacket at RM Williams. And I could tell she was about to try it on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice yes. and soft. <laughs> anyway, we'll motor on. I don't know, we might call into Kalama, have a quick look. We've still got a bit of time up our sleeve. So, um, look at those beautiful mountains there. I do love coming up the east coast of Australia, you know. I mean, I know we are, I know we are on the highway here, but it's still very beautiful. Now that's the ocean. That's the ocean over there, yes. We're heading up towards Kiama at the moment in Shell Harbour. Along the highway still. The reason why we're on the highway is because we're trying to make a bit of time up. We have got a um, decent ride today. Not over decent, but decent, isn't it? 460 or 70 odd k's or something. Welcome to the stunningly beautiful Kiama, guys. Kiama is located at 120 kilometres south of Sydney. It is a well-known and popular coastal resort town known around Australia for the famous Kiama blowhole a cavern-like fissure in the volcanic rocks which produces dramatic blows of water when the winds and waves are in the right direction. In recent times, Kaima has become a popular day tripper destination for people from Greater Wollongong in southern and southwestern Sydney. Consequently, the town is now awash with coffee lounges and fast food outlets, although the council has resisted any high-rise development. In many ways, Kiama still maintains the charm of an historic seaside town with a small boat harbour. 
one of my favourite towns on the east coast. What about you, babe? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay? Yep. I just love this main street. It's a busy little place normally too, isn't it? What's that? It's a busy little place normally. Touristy place. It, oh right. yeah, she's touristy. We're not tourists though, are we? No. Part of the family, aren't we, babe? Part of the part of the Ikoyama family. This is the main street, guys, for all those that do not know. I know there's a lot of people out there that already know. Oh, I remember all these bumps, <laughs> pedestrian crossings. Yeah. Slow you down a bit, babe, because you're just too fast. I know. It's a pretty good main street, isn't it, guys? I bought a pair of boots from the Salvo store or something. Now, why would that not surprise me at all? I know. Knickers something back there. What was it? Oh, I don't know, some knicker store, but it said knicker liquors or something. Knicker liquors? That's no, not good. Knickers liquors or something. Oh, babe, you can't say that. That's what it said. So we'll just take you down here, then we'll come back up the street and we'll park somewhere, guys. Look at this, guys. Through here. Smell the beach here, babe. Yeah. Mm. Blowhole uh, point, babe, is it? Yes. We might get to see a proper, proper blowhole this time, babe. Yep. Are you going left? When I want to go left, I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> left your fucking indicator on. I'm just looking for somewhere to park, babe. It's easy for us to get out. Oh, I could have parked there. We could park here, if you want. Yeah. Or do you go up top? Oh, well, the views up here, guys. Over there to the left, there looks like some straight in. Now, wait a minute. What's your left? Oh, sorry, what? right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll reverse in it, okay? See where the car's coming out of? Yeah, there, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. I thought I'd better check because your left and right have been totally different than mine this trip. I know. I was thinking about going... Oh, we're going up a one-way bit. Oh, I don't worry about about. Going to the left and I said left. Take your own parking spot next to me, babe. No, I'm sharing yours. You get fucked. You don't know. I'll, I'll say on the right, on the left, and you won't know where to go. True. Will you? Here she comes. She actually went right. We should have went left. I don't know. Wait, that's why you stopped and said, are you sure? Yeah, that's, well, that, that's exactly why I said it. I was thinking about looking, like going to the left, but then... How bad is it for me, guys, eh? How bad is it? Oh, fucking hell, it's only got seven minutes left on it. Fuck it. We're going to need more than seven minutes here, aren't we? If we go down the blowhole. Fucking hell. Okay, so here we are at Kayama, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. We're all locked up. It's just took us half hour to get ready just to do a bit of filming for you guys. So this is Kayama. We're up near the lighthouse here at the moment, but isn't it absolutely beautiful? Those waves are coming in today. So maybe, baby, what? baby, maybe the blowhole will be going off. Oh yeah. Hey? So look at this. It's nice, isn't it? You coming down here, babe? Yep. We've already had the police checking up on us. Why? Well, we went the wrong way down the arrow. The arrow. Well, if you had to watch a video, or oh, well, sorry guys, if you had to watch a video of us coming in here, Kimmy's been getting confused all holidays, what is left and what is right. Now, we stopped in this section, she said, go left. And I said, are you sure you mean right? And she said over that way, which was right, and she said left, didn't you? I know. Where are you going? Well, I'm... Are you scared? No, I'm wondering if we need a ticket to get in. Oh. Do we? I don't know. Is that a parking ticket? No, it's a oh, petrol, petrol ticket. Look, we'll go down the edge here and we'll have a look. We He's are going to take a picture from Co here. Oh, look. Come down here, babe. No, you're right. Come on. Oh, look. It's got a little viewing platform here, babe. Has it? Look, beautiful coastline. How about I chuck my phone to you? Bring it down. Here, catch. No, just come down here, you no, brought. 
catch it. No, I'm not catching it. Bring it down. One day she'll grow some balls, that girl. Won't you, babe? Yeah, and buy a Vespa. Grow some balls and buy a Vespa. That's what they're playing. No, you've got a nice concrete bit here. Sure it is. No, it is, honest. Bloody, you don't you, you start... go further than that, though. I'm not going any further. I'm not going no further, sweetie. People have died to get good shots on these things, and I'm well, not... Well, it makes good footage. Come, oh, no, come yeah. down this way. Down this way. Right here. Down this way. So okay. what do you think? Now have a look. Have a look down. That's good. <laughs> if I drop my phone, it's staying okay. there. Look, it's absolutely stunning, man. Okay, hold this. I'll take the photos in. Don't go any further than here, I'm not though. going any further. That's, that's recording, yes, so watch where you're pointing it. It's very slippery over Just there. Just watch where you're pointing it. Right. Me, babe. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Push me to the limit sometimes. Okay, let's go. Right. Next stop. Next stop. Yep. We're going to blow hole. Okay. There, up there. Did you, did you go? Oh, I thought you went over for us. Why are you putting the phone to away? To get my arms you... up, swinging oh. up here. I'll what? Get to get what? To get my arms. Swinging. You can't hold your phone swinging. No. Okay. She got. She got. Funny little ways, hasn't she? Well, that's what makes her Kimmy, I guess. There's the lighthouse right there. It is very windy up here, guys, so I hope you can hear it. We actually spent a bit of time and put our mics on, didn't we, babe? Some old lady was getting off on Rusty's sexy body. Yeah, I had to take my shirt on, <laughs> put my bra on to hold the um, mic. And when I mean bra, I'll show you one day how we mic up. What do you reckon, babe? Yeah. You all right, Kimmy? Yep. Okay, let's right. go. It's uphill, guys, so coming back down should be right. Do you reckon you'll be safe on that viewing platform? This one here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. You sure? Yep. Okay, it's got a fence, hasn't it? Yep. <laughs> You'd be lucky to see over the top of this fence. I know. I'll look through the bars. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I think it's the blowhole. One blowhole down there. Every so often, Nature likes to show off, and Kyama Blowhole is a perfect place to see it. Kyama's famous blowhole is the largest in the world, and when the swell is running from the southeast, you're in for a real treat. The 2.5 metre opening in the rock face has had its plumes of water recorded at heights of over 30 metres. With multiple accessible viewing platforms, the blowhole can be seen from multiple vantage points. Be sure to check out the most eastern point to take in the full height of the rock formation. This landmark has attracted people to the region for over a hundred years, and the first sightings were recorded by George Bass when he anchored his whale boat in the Sheldon Bay, now known as Kayama Harbour, in December 1797. It is now estimated to attract 900,000 visitors each year. Is that it? Oh, she's not roaring in up today. No, there's another one right over there where they are on no. the rocks. You want to get a picture? Yeah. Oh. Whoa! There it she's is. She's not really going off today though. Beautiful, isn't it, guys? Look at that. You want to come to the edge to take that picture? No. Nah. Oh. I'm worried about dropping. Oh, look at Whoa, that. Oh, there we go. Nice. We should go down the next level. So we can get wet or what? Yeah, so we can get wet. Pass me your phone, I'll take the photo. That's recording. Yes. All right, we'll go down there, babe. All right. Careful, that's recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Everyone's a comedian, aren't they, hey? <laughs> Did you take a photo of the lighthouse? Yep. Okay. I will. So this is where we're going to go down, guys, to the uh, blowhole. Might go out right out there on those rocks where those people are. What do you reckon? 
Where are you going? Right out there on the rocks where those people are. I'm not going out there. Why? No, nope, hey, but people want to see you being nope. adventurous. No. Nope. Why not? People want to see you being adventurous. How do, how do they even get over there? Come on, kid. They've jumped the fence. I don't think no, you're allowed No, there's to... no fence there, babe. So it must mean you're allowed. You right there, Kimmy? I'm right. OK. You Don't sure? you worry about me. Oh, I am worried about you, Fending sweet. for myself. Are you? Yeah. OK. You know what? I'll go on them rocks if it shuts you up. OK. OK? Will what? that work? What? On the first fucking rock? I'll go on A yeah, rock. On, on, yeah, on A rock. Yes. There's a light house up there, guys. Kimmy might take a picture of that thing. I did. From from down here. from this angle. Yeah, yes. Because I've got the cars in the I'm shop. I'm still before. teaching Kimmy how to take photos. Oh, you guys have got the right idea. You've got the dry riders on. Good idea. Well, yeah. <laughs> it was raining that way when we started. So oh, well, right. Where did you come from? Um, where did we come from? Some uh, Engadine. Engadine. Where's that? Uh, North Hector. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Woo, look at that. <laughs> so this is down here at the kiosk information centre and everything. So do you want a drink, sweetie? Um, this is it here, dig it. We'll have a look. Takeaways, please wait to be seated. Takeaways are inside. What, what are you waiting for, babe? Two ham steaks, a dozen dozen eggs, yep. fried, or turning them into an omelette. And scrambled. And scrambled, oh, well, there you go. And a coffee. Yep. Yes, and we're in the straight middle. It's called Diggies. This little cafe boasts stunning coastal views located close to the iconic Kaima Blowhole in Lighthouse. At the Blowhole in um, Blowhole in Kaima, aren't we? Yep, we are. We just found another Harley, didn't we, baby yep. anchor? Yep. Hey, and she's rusty like yours, isn't it? One for my bike, one for your bike. Yeah, mine's a little anchor. Like I said before, mine's mm. a drift anchor. Kim's is an anchor, a proper anchor, isn't it? Well. We've got our we've got our cuppers. We're gonna take you down to this table down here. And we're gonna have sit down for a few minutes and we're gonna push back up on the road, aren't we, babe? No, babe not talking again. Yeah, I'm watching the magpies. Oh the... yeah, and just in case they swoop. I heard them sneaking oh, up on me. Rusty almost tripped. So, did you get your coffee? Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers biggies. This really is a great spot to sit down and have a coffee we just brought from Diggies. One of the best coffees we've ever had. Okay, so it wasn't that good, guys. So we're gonna venture on now. We're gonna try and go out the right way this time. We come in the wrong way. The car coming out here, babe. Keep coming. You're right, babe. He would not know we we're even there, I don't reckon. Uh. So that's the Kaima blowhole, guys. There's a bit, little bit coming through, one there, babe. Yeah, not much. No, mate, blowhole. straight ahead, mate, straight ahead. Lord, we're visitors and we know that. Yeah, only because we did the wrong thing first up. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that right, babe? Yeah, the cops did their rounds. Yeah. But, that, but to, to be fair, though, that arrow was straight ahead of that intersection. They should have had left turn only. This is coming in a bit here, Dale. Oh, there's a swim hole right there, babe. Swimming hole. Oh, wow. A uh, salt water one. Yeah, people are in it. And the fish market down here. Naked people are in it. Oh, these are cabins. We could rent a cabin there and just Which walk into the town. They'd be dear. Oh, I don't know. Kayama Cabins. Look that up on the way back, babe. We could, you know, you never know. Oh. But imagine sitting out on the fucking deck there. Oh, Nat oh. was spending the night at Kayama. Yeah, nah. Yeah, we better tell Nat. Better break the good news to her. <laughs> well, I'll take you. Well, we're going to take you back through Kaima. We're not going to get off in the main street at all. But I think you can see how lovely a place it is. We rode straight past it that year we came here. Yeah, we went. We looking for the went looking for the blowhole one year. I typed it in the GPS, and the GPS did not bring us here. It took us up to the left, and we we'll rode the back of the main street. Took us up to the fucking left, didn't it, babe? To this yeah. little blowhole. We thought we'd found it. Yeah. Apparently, it was a little blowhole. Mission accomplished. Might be years later, babe. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of 
September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant 